Hi guys, in the previous video we talked about the inductive effect. Let's now talk about the second electronic effect in organic chemistry and that is electromeric effect. So the important points about this effect are the first thing that you should note is that this effect is temporary. What this means is that it is observed only during reactions. Observed only in reactions. On the contrary, the inductive effect which we saw earlier was a permanent effect which means that it was always present whether the molecule was reacting or not. The second point of difference is that the electromeric effect involves the pi electrons which means double bond or triple bond should be present so it is not observed in alkanes. Most commonly electromeric effect is observed in alkenes and alkenes or wherever double bond is present. So with these two differences in mind, let's see the electromeric effect in action. Imagine we have a molecule like this where we have CH3 attached to a carbon atom and then on this side we can take another CH3 and on the right hand side let's take an H and another H atom. So this is an alkene. CH3, C double bond, CH2 and CH3. So this alkene will only show electromeric effect in a reaction when it is approached by some other species. For example, if we take H plus approaching this alkene, let's see what happens. Now hydrogen has a positive charge and our discussion in the previous video should tell you that electrons will like to move towards the positive charge. So what happens is the double bond, the pi bond here will break and electrons will shift towards either this carbon attached to CH3 or the carbon attached to the hydrogen atom. Now in which direction will it go? We decide it with the help of inductive effect. How? The CH3 atom will try to push some electrons towards the carbon due to its plus i effect and same case is with this CH3 group and so the electrons are trying to move towards the right and therefore this bond will break and what we will end up with is a carbon atom attached to two CH3 groups and it just lost electrons so it will develop a plus charge and then we have another carbon atom which has two hydrogens and it received some electrons so it will get a minus charge okay now these electrons want the positive charge so what will happen is that the carbon with the negative charge will now attack on this hydrogen and they will form a bond and so we will end up with a structure that is C CH3 CH3 it will have a plus charge and then we will have another CH3 here because this carbon already had two hydrogens and one more hydrogen was attached to it so this is what is formed in this reaction so if we look at it again, the things to note here are this process happened only because of the presence of H plus and therefore it is a temporary effect. It is only shown in reactions. And the second point to note is that the electrons that got shifted are the pi electrons. So electromeric effect is only shown by groups that have a double bond or a triple bond. Let's take another example. This time we have an aldehyde CH3 C double bond O H and we bring a group 
which is negatively charged NH2 minus. This is also called an amide group. Now, due to the presence of this external group NH2 minus, the double bond will show an electromeric effect and the electrons will shift. Once again, CH3 is pushing electrons towards the carbon. And you can also see that between carbon and oxygen, oxygen is more electronegative. And if you remember, electrons try to go towards the more electronegative atom. So, this bond will break and the oxygen will take up both the electrons. And what we get is CH3, C, H. This carbon just lost its electrons and so it will get a positive charge and the oxygen gained some electrons so it will get a negative charge. Now, NH2- minus is a negatively charged species. So, what do you think it will do? These electrons on the nitrogen atom will try to go to the positive charge and therefore, it will go to this carbon which has the positive charge. And so, we end up with CH3, C and it bears an O- minus here and then we have an NH2 here and we also get a H atom. So, that is how the reaction will take place. There are two types of electromeric effects and we call them plus E and minus E and let's see how we can differentiate between the two. So, for that let's take another example. We have CH3, C double bond C, H, H and H and let's bring H plus here and so you know now that the electrons will shift from CH3 to the right and the bond will break like this and what we get is CH3 CH plus CH2 minus and this CH2 minus will take up this H plus. Now these things happen in one step. We are doing this just for the sake of explanation. So we end up with CH3 CH plus and CH3. So you can see that the H plus here gets attached to that carbon where the negative charge shifted. When such a process happens we call it a plus E effect. When the atom gets attached to the carbon where the negative charge shifted it is called plus E effect. And if you look at the previous example, NH2 minus went to that carbon from where the negative charge shifted. When that happens, we call it minus E effect. So that is the difference between plus E and minus E. In the next video, we will take a look at one of the most important effects in organic chemistry and that is resonance. See you there.